Hey, what's up? Some weeks ago I tested a budget robot vacuum cleaner from ED Company on our channel Tech Brothers. You know, I really liked that robot vacuum cleaner, and now I use it almost every day. So far, I don't have any problems with that. However, I recently received the latest model of the robot vacuum cleaner from the same brand, called ED Mob Station Pro. As you understand from the name, the main feature of this model is a self-cleaning station for automatic cleaning of the mopping pads. The new robot vacuum cleaner has two spinning mopping pads at the bottom for most effective floor cleaning. Actually, this is two-in-one robot vacuum cleaner, so it can vacuum and mop at the same time. The suction power is 3000 Pascal. So let's start the review with unboxing and then look at design of ED Mop Station Pro. If you're interested in vacuuming and a mopping test, then you can use time codes in description of this video. However, I appreciate if you watch the video to the end and hit the like button. So the box of the new robot vacuum cleaner is very big because of the self-cleaning station inside. The vacuum cleaner itself is in this small box. We will open it a little later, but now let's take everything out of the big box. There is another box with accessories and a large self-cleaning station. To be honest, I didn't even think it was that big. So in the box of the robot vacuum cleaner, there is only it here, nothing else. However, I want to pay your attention to the packaging. The vacuum cleaner is well protected, so that it will not be damaged during shipping. The next box contains accessories such as user manual and other documentations, four mopping pads, one side brush, a dustbin, cleaning tool, a power cable for self-cleaning station. A water tank is already installed on the robot vacuum cleaner. You know, it doesn't look like the other water tanks, because it has two attachments for spinning mopping pads at the bottom, and uh, there is no hole to fill the water. However, you can lift the handle and remove a dust box. We will talk about it more detail a little later. Now let's take a look at design of the robot vacuum cleaner at the self-cleaning station. You know, ED Mop Station Pro looks very different from ED Wag Max that I tested before. It is about the same size, but a little higher. The height of the new robot vacuum cleaner is 85 mm, the dimensions are 340 by 340 mm. You can see a mapping sensor, Wi-Fi indicator and auto mode button at the top. There is a power switch and reset button. Unlike the other robot vacuum cleaners, which have charging contacts at the bottom, ED Mob Station Pro has them on the back. Later we will see how the robot vacuum cleaner returns to the station to charge. Of course, there is anti-collision bumper on the front. At the bottom, we can see a side brush, omnidirectional wheel, two driving wheels, and a main brush. It is removable, so you can easily clean it. And there is also a carpet detection sensor, floor tracking sensor, and anti-drop sensors at the bottom. Now I want to show you a water tank and dustbin in more detail. As already said, ED Mob Station Pro is doing one robot vacuum cleaner. First, you can use a dustbin with a capacity of 750 ml. It is much bigger than other robot vacuum cleaners. By the way, it has three layer filter, sponge filter, high efficiency filter, and filter net. Then you can use a water tank, but it also has a small dustbin. It allows the robot vacuum cleaner to sweep and mop the floor at the same time. Before washing the floors, you need to attach a mopping pads plates and the mopping pads themselves to the bottom of the water tank. As already said, you cannot fill a water to water tank manually. A self-cleaning station fills and changes the water automatically. Talking about self-cleaning station. First, you need to know it is big. The dimensions are 430 by 380 by 400 mm. The weight with empty water buckets inside is 7.4 kg. You will have to find a plate in your apartment for this station. On the front we can see a control panel with a recall exit button, start pause button and self cleaning button. Inside are there are charging pins, water level sensor and wheels for the soft connection of the robot to the station. If you open a top cover, you will see a disposal water tank and fresh water tank. Each of them has a capacity of 3.5 liters. Let's see how it works. So first you need to fill up water to a fresh water tank. After that, do not forget to close a rubber plug. Now put a water bucket in a self-cleaning station and connect a power cable to the back if you haven't done this yet. As already said, there are control buttons on the front of the self-cleaning station. You can press the first button to return a robot vacuum cleaner to the station and the play button to start self-cleaning. Unfortunately, we cannot see how the mopping pads are cleaned, but I can show you the official video. Later we will do a cleaning test and check how well or bad the station cleans the mopping pads. 
By the way, I didn't tell you about battery of the new robot vacuum cleaner. As already said, EDMOB Station Pro is not very compact and lightweight robot vacuum cleaner. It has a battery capacity of 5200 mAh. The working time on a single charge is up to 180 minutes. Of course, the robot vacuum cleaner has an auto-recharge function. It automatically returns to the station when the battery level is low. Talking about the app, it is called ED, and it is available on Android and iOS devices. As you can see, I already have ED Vac Max in the app. Now let's connect the new ED Mob Station Pro. For that, you need to press on the plus icon in the right top corner. And then you can scan a QR code or add the device manually. The step-by-step -step instruction in the app will help you connect the robot vacuum cleaner. In the app, we can quickly start auto-cleaning and return a robot vacuum cleaner to the charging station. Then you can select only one and more rooms to clean. In the map management, we can set a virtual boundary, label RS and delete map. ED Mob Station Pro has four section power levels, such as Quiet, Standard, Max and Max Plus. You can also change a water flow level. Another useful function in the app is cleaning schedule. You can set a time for cleaning and repeat. The type of schedule cleaning is only auto. The robot vacuum cleaner has voice prompts, and you can change the volume of them as well as the language. The other cleaning settings include resumed clean, do not disturb mode, and auto boost section. There are also two icons next to the map. The first one is error drying of mopping pads. As you can see, the error drying takes about 6 hours, so you have started after the cleaning is complete. The second icon is to return a robot vacuum cleaner to the self-cleaning station and start self-cleaning. Before the cleaning test, I want to check a noise level. First, let's check the noise level of self-cleaning station. It is about 50 dB. The robot vacuum cleaner has four vacuum power modes. In a quiet mode, the noise level is only 40 dB. In a standard mode, the noise level is 43 dB. In the max vacuum mode, the noise is 45 dB. The most powerful vacuum mode is max plus, and the noise level is 52 dB. By the way, the maximum suction power of this robot vacuum cleaner is 3000 Pascal. Finally, let's do a cleaning test. First, I want to check the suction of this robot vacuum cleaner without mopping pads. I have 100 grams of garbage, and now I will scatter it all over the floor. Let's start a cleaning in max mode. So just a few minutes, and the robot vacuum cleaner finished cleaning. As you can see, I collected 97 grams of garbage. That's a very good result. The cleaning efficiency is 97%. However, the main feature of this robot vacuum cleaner is not sweeping, but mopping. So let's do a mopping cleaning test. I have already prepared the self-cleaning station, fill a clean water, and we can start cleaning. By the way, when you connect the mopping pad plates and mopping pads, the robot vacuum cleaner automatically goes into mopping mode. You can see this in the app. So, for the test, I spilled some ketchup, mayonnaise, and coke on the floor. 
It is pretty messy, isn't it? By the way, when the robot vacuum cleaner washes the floor, it doesn't just wipe it, but the moving pads pressed tightly on the floor by tiny Newton force. In addition, the moving pads are spinning 180 RPM. So unlike the other robot vacuum cleaners with mopping function, ED Mop Station Pro really mops the floor, but not only wipe it. After the cleaning is complete, the floor is very clean. I can even wipe the floor with a tissue to make sure it is clean. By the way, the mopping pads look like this after cleaning. Let's return the robot vacuum cleaner to the station and start all the cleaning. As you can see, the mopping pads are clean now. I can also show you a dirty water tank. I think it is better to empty it before the next cleaning. Let me tell you a little bit about navigation. The robot vacuum cleaner has a smart visual mapping sensor at the top as well as floor tracking sensor at the bottom. The last sensor works like a GPS. First, the robot vacuum cleaner drives in a zigzag, and then on the edges. By the way, ED Mop Station Pro has only auto cleaning mode. You cannot choose a spot or edge cleaning in the app. Another feature of the new robot vacuum cleaner is an auto carpet detection. It automatically increases suction power on the carpet. In a mopping mode, the robot vacuum cleaner doesn't go on the carpet at all. That's really good feature. So ED Mop Station Pro is a robot vacuum cleaner and mop cleaner, but a mopping is the main feature of it. Talking about vacuuming, it is about the same as the previous budget robot vacuum cleaner from ED. It does a good job, but nothing special. However, the suction power is really high, 3000 Pascal, and there is a large dust bin of 750 milliliters. That's very good. The mopping is the main feature of ED Mop Station Pro because it has two spinning mopping pads, as well as self cleaning station for the mopping pads. There are two big water tanks in the station for clean and dirty water. I also like that there is a vacuuming and mopping option at the same time. The mobile app is very nice because you can select a room for cleaning, set a virtual boundary, choose a vacuum power and a water flow level. You know, I am very glad that there is a finally a robot vacuum cleaner that not only wipes the floor, but actually washes it. You also don't have to clean the mopping pads manually, because the self-cleaning station does it for you. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.